What is up my friends? So this is going to be a new series on this channel where I am trying to pretty much go over the timelines of some of our favorite series, movies, all of that. And this is going to be the first one just because I was reading about the new Netflix movie that's going to be made for the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And I was like, yeah, this makes like no sense why they keep doing what they're doing to this series, which I'll explain in a bit. But if you're into these sort of videos, make sure you make sure, make sure... I don't know why I said that three times, but I want you to make sure for sure to go ahead and subscribe, turn that notification bell on. Let's get to 20,000 subscribers. And this is going to be the first of many series I'm trying to introduce here to this channel because I want to keep it a little better. So let's talk about Mr. Jedediah Sawyer, a.k.a. Leatherface. So pretty much I think that we can all come to an agreement that this has been one of the weaker horror franchises i think i think most of the movies aren't memorable and if they are they pretty much aren't memorable for the right reasons i mean let, we're, we're gonna get to next generation in this video so you know where we're going headed with this um but yeah like i said texas chainsaw i don't feel we've had a great movie for this franchise since maybe like ever <laughs> so um besides the original which i think is definitely the top one um, there have been some sequels, reboots that kind of come close to being enjoyable, but never, I think, to that same caliber that the original was in 1974. This has been a franchise that has very much so needed something more fresh. And there is so much potential there, but I feel like it either goes down the road of being a sort of comedy satire, but not in a good way. To trying to be a gore fest as well not in a good way either i think um so very much so let's get into this video because we have to talk about all of these timelines that we have here so for the original timeline of course i think most of the movies if not all of them all of the timelines have some point leatherface which is a 2017 movie we got that sort of worked as a telling of a story of Jedediah Sawyer and how he came to be a leather face we all know so most movies definitely will have that in their timeline um, then of course we have the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre which was um, released in 1974 which I think did a great job as well of telling the story of Leatherface here and then from this one, we got the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2, where I think sort of like um, Chucky series had a moment where it just went completely off the rails and tried to be sort of more of a dark comedy sort of feel. That's what we got from Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. Now, by the way, if y'all want me to go into death, into all of these in the story of Leatherface, let me know in the comments down below. Here, I'm just giving you the different timelines and just a quick overview of all of the movies. Not really going in depth into all of them, but if y'all want that, make sure to let me know in the comments down below. So pretty much this is one of our first timelines here, and I think we can definitely say it is the strongest of all of them. I think that Leatherface isn't a horrible movie, but it definitely isn't in line with the original one. Of course, the original one is here, and I think that one is the strongest of them all. And number two, albeit a weaker link than the first one, original one, I still believe it is a very strong contender for the um, movies. And I liked what they were trying to do, but it doesn't hit all the notes all the time. But let's get into the other timeline right here so of course as i say leatherface is always going to be in there with all of them because i feel like that's your best telling of the origins of mr jedediah sawyer so yeah i think for the most part leatherface does a great job of expanding the origins but of course not all of the movie itself fits into all of the timelines so we'll take a little bit of here and there for the second timeline and the rest of course um, then, of course, we have the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre here, uh, where we do have it uh, as being still a movie that 
is in the same timeline and then we skip number two omit that one that never happened and we skip to number three here so this would be leatherface texas chainsaw massacre and then texas chainsaw massacre three this would be your new timeline here uh, where pretty much we see a different family and a lot of different events that have changed from the original timeline we saw so that is our alternate timeline here where we have a more sort of less comedic Sawyer family and sort of more um, deranged, of course, um, a little darker as well, if you will. Maybe they were trying to um, get away from the more dark comedy feel of it and try something different as well. Um, it gave us the golden chainsaw. So there's that with this timeline here. And of course, uh, the first timeline gave us the whole um, chainsaw duo, which I thought was pretty interesting. So the next timeline, I think, could definitely be one of the worst timelines. Um, and that is just because of one movie, and that is Next Generation. Uh, many people will go ahead and say that this is a movie that shouldn't have been put out. And I'll talk more about that in a bit because there is a funny story about that. Um, but here, pretty much, as I said, Leatherface, of course, is always going to be there because it does serve as origin for this character. Uh, original Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And then for some reason, Next Generation would come into play. And I wasn't sure if whether or not this should be here because this sort of feels like a sort of reboot of the first movie and more along the lines of not a sequel but we could definitely put it in there where this is more sort of like a leather face that has just gone even more mad um so yeah pretty much this movie was never going to be released according to many it was only released after renee zellweger who is in this movie and matthew mcconaughey became bigger stars and the studio was like you know what we can make a quick hash grab on this so let's release this movie so pretty interesting stuff there for this but i'm telling you next generation just skip that movie do not even go near it i'm just warning you if you want to go near it fine but I warned you. Let's get into the reboot timeline. Now, this is the first movie here that doesn't have the original uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre because this one actually wants to retell everything from the beginning, and it doesn't even have a Leatherface in here. So this is going to have 2006, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the beginning, where we pretty much have another story told in Origins for Mr. Jedediah Sawyer um, here, but they actually have renamed him here as well. To Thomas Brown Hewitt uh, which I thought was interesting as well so this one then goes into the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2003 movie and pretty much it's a self-contained story right there so this one very much so as I said veers from all of the other ones and I know it's for the most part it gets a lot of flack but I like that they tried to do something different but it does suffer from that sort of early 2000s look where it sort of just blends in with all of the other horror movies and thrillers we got during that time and sort of it's just a whatever but this was my first introduction to the Texas Chainsaw so it holds a special place in my heart. So let's get on to the final timeline, which goes us back to Jedediah Sawyer, which I say has Leatherface as the beginning. As always, as I said, that is a movie that is definitely fitting into all the timelines except for the reboot one. And then we have the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And then we skip every other movie and head into Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3D, where we see Leatherface as an older Leatherface, which I thought was interesting and also see that they are more connected as well so for the most part that's how i put the timelines i know some other people don't have the timelines where leatherface connects to the other movies and only connects to this last timeline but i think that movie works for pretty much all of the movies except for the reboot because the reboot gave its own origin um, but yeah, there's five timelines here, five alternate timelines. According to Netflix, the new movie that is going to come out from them will actually serve as a sequel to the original one. So Texas Chainsaw Massacre 1974 and then the next movie from Netflix will come after that apparently. So Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2 doesn't exist or 3 or 3D, I'm assuming. And so... Yeah, that's going to be the sixth timeline. So that's what I'm saying. When I heard about this uh, new movie, I immediately thought about how many timelines do they want? But as I said, it should be interesting to see what they 
are planning to do with this franchise because as we know it it feels like there is a revival in the slasher genre um, especially with Halloween Scream and apparently there's a Nightmare on Elm Street reboot coming out which I'll talk about uh, in the future so I mean this is the weakest one I think Leatherface in my opinion I just don't see how exactly they can make this work but if they can pull it off I think you can definitely have some pretty interesting stories for uh, Mr. Bubba here. So we'll see if Netflix is able to pull it off. I just never have faith in Netflix adaptations, to be honest. So here's hoping, right? Anyways, let me know your thoughts on the timelines. Which one do you prefer? As I said, I think the timeline that has uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre and Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2 is the best in all the timelines. The rebooted timeline just has a special place in my heart because I grew up watching this, those movies and they were the first ones I watched. And then I was able to watch the 1974 one later on. But I can I can definitely see um, why those movies aren't as great as maybe I remember them. But still, you know, it's one of your first horrors you watch. So it definitely is one that you keep close. As always, though, make sure you comment down below your favorite. What other uh, timelines would you like me to talk about? What do y'all think about this first episode? I am trying to work on them, make them better. I know this one might not be the best, but I have a couple of them coming out pretty soon as well that I'll be working on. will be different looking depending on how I feel about this video, so stay tuned for that. But as always, that is going to do it for me. Make sure you turn on that notification bell. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment, share, all that good stuff. I'll see you next time. As always, stay safe, stay positive.